Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 15th of 2020, well, it is titled The Snows of Sheryumov Gerashmenko. So what do we see here? Well, this is a very short video clip that runs only a couple of seconds, and in it you will see uh, an image taken by the Rosetta spacecraft back in 2016 as it was orbiting around a comet. Now, the nucleus of a comet is pretty much made up of ice and dust particles. And when it gets close to the sun, the sun's heat will energize those and the particles will start to uh, evaporate and move off of the surface. And that's some of what you see in this video clip. As you see, some of the material that's there that's kind of scattered around is, uh, in a way, snow, just like snow here on Earth. And in fact, it's a lot of water ice. And in, in many ways, the image looks like a snowy scene here on Earth. Now, you have, as you look here, you see a number of different things as you watch this clip. There are stars in the background that you can see that will just sort of move from top to bottom. So the ones moving regular, relatively consistently from top to bottom are actually the stars off in the distance. In the foreground, you can see part of the comet itself, the comet's surface, uh, with mostly, again, icy material that is present. And then you can also see some of the snow particles that are present around there. And in addition, you're seeing the some cosmic rays that will actually strike the camera, and some of the brighter areas are actually the cosmic rays as well. Now, Rosetta was able to study this uh, comet in great detail by orbiting around it for over a year, and then able to explore and watch it as it came closer to the sun, and the particles became more energized by the heat of the sun. So as the sun heated things up, the material evaporates, or what we call sublimates, goes directly from a solid into a gas, and then is uh, expelled in many ways from the comet in various jets of material. And some of that material is here. What we're seeing here is the snows scattered around the comet itself. So Rosetta has been able to give us an up-close look at this one comet and to give us a much better understanding of these types of objects, looking at things that are have been known for uh, since ancient times as comets are easily visible. However, is to study the nucleus of a comet like this is not something we have been able to do until, of course, there were spacecraft that could travel out to the comet and give us these kinds of up-close looks that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for March the 15th of 2020. It was titled, The Snows of Sheryumov Gerashmenko. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be almost Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.